Good evening. The search in Venezuela for a Bryan, Alabama pilot continues three and a half years later. Bob Newton fl Norton rather flew for Adventist Medical at Aviation. From all indications, his plane crashed in February of 2009 with six other people on board. News Channel 9's John Madewell takes a look at the next step in the search. John. Well, Latricia and Kim, Bob Norton was an experienced bush pilot accustomed to flying the Venezuelan jungles. He was also a man with a huge heart. And on his last mission, he had dropped off two children who had just been treated, only to turn back and pick up one other sick child. He turned to me one day and he said, Mom, if a plane got lost in this jungle, it would never be found. I didn't know that those words would turn out to be prophetic. The search for Bob Norton has grown into a documentary, detailed website, and a committed group. His close friend Bob Edwards leads the U.S. effort. After my time in the jungle, we're like, we got to do something different. And so we started looking at like small remote control planes, you know, our camera pods, things like that. The Bryant, Alabama native, his wife Neba, a teacher, and four natives were on board his Cessna 182. Initially, the search was 10,000 square miles, but through witnesses, interviews, and imaging, the search area has shrunk immensely. Venezuela's civil protection has been a tremendous help, and the team is ready for the next search. So when we bring this camera pod down, we'll be working with them directly put it on a small Cessna, go fly the next area that we think is the most probable zone that he could have crashed. A Brazilian miner has proven to be the best witness. If he's right, then we think it's in a corridor of maybe about 50 square miles or less, so it becomes much more searchable. In two to three months, the team returns to Yosemite to plan and strategize with search experts. They do this for a man who loved to help others. You find the plane, you find out what happened to it, you know, is it a mechanical failure, electrical failure, whatever, and uh, and then the families know, you know, everybody knows. Then, so it, it brings closure, and and I don't know how to not do this because he's my friend. Now, Bob Edwards says many companies and organizations have jumped on board to help. All the trips have been funded through donations, fundraisers, and personal money. Now, the next search is planned for next February. Tim, John, thank you very much for that story.